Hey YouTubers, Janelle back here with my next video in the series of basic makeup application. This is being done as a request from one of my subscribers, Dolly Matt. Hi Dolly, how are you? Told you I'd get this done. Just took me a little longer than what I thought. Anyway, my previous video um, was one showing you how I applied my foundation. And um, I described the products that I used and um, showed you how to, I did that. So now this one is going to show you how I apply my concealer. Now, yes, I do use concealer. Um, for a lot of us, some um, hereditary um, things play a huge role in the fact that we develop dark circles under our eyes. And about eight months ago, I discovered that you know I was starting to get a little darkness here, maybe the inner third of my eye and it was no longer being concealed effectively just by using foundation alone so I had to go out, well I didn't have to but I decided to go out and um, find a concealer that would work I don't need a whole lot right now, just a little but the concealer just kind of helps to even out the um, coloration in my under eye area for me so that's what I do I use a stick foundation product such as this. This one is by CoverGirl. The color is 720 in deep. Now let me get close and hold it up to my skin. You can see that the foundation shade is maybe a shade or two lighter than my natural coloration. This is what you want in a foundation. I know, um, you know, there's a lot of advice out there that says use use a cover stick or foundation stick that is lighter than your skin tone. The problem with getting it lighter a lot of times people go too light and if you know anything about color theory you know that light colors tend to make areas come forward visually it means your eye focuses on that area more because there's light surrounding it and your eye is naturally drawn to the light darker colors make objects visually recede or pull back so that your eye does not notice them as much if you get a foundation or I'm sorry, a concealer that is more than two, maybe three shades lighter than your your normal skin tone. What happens is that the concealer actually starts becoming a highlight, and your eye will be visually drawn to those areas that you have tried to conceal. Okay, opposite of what we want to do. We want to conceal. We want to draw attention away from those areas most of the time you're going to be using your concealer under the eye if you have really dark circles on the lid you may use it on the lid also um, if you've got facial discoloration perhaps along the cheek acne scarring maybe here in the corners of the mouth under the chin on the jawline you would typically use your um, concealer in that area too now when I'm putting my concealer on myself I use my fingers I'm a finger gal. Okay, what I will do is I'll rub my finger on my stick to get a little product on. Then I will take this product and starting in the inner corner of the eye, I will lightly pat and get close so you can see. You can see where I've put some product on. I will lightly pat that product into the areas that I want to conceal. Now by using the fingers. Um, does a couple things. Number one, I can feel the product as I'm dispersing it and that way I'm making sure I'm getting it in a nice thin even layer across the area. Number two, the heat of my skin is going to warm this product up, make it a little creamier so that again it goes on thinly and I'm able to move this product that little bit of product is able to do this entire area and you notice I am patting this on I'm not dragging and pulling my skin dragging and pulling your skin only encourages early wrinkling even for those of us that are very young so you need to use a very light touch when you do this now if you prefer you can use a small brush I've got a couple here to show you Okay. This brush here is an actual concealer brush. I can't tell you the brand. I've had this brush for a while. The name has worn off. But it's very small. You would get a little product on the brush. 
like so. You would take the brush, place it and in dabbing motions, disperse it over the area that you need it to go on. This is another brush I use. This is what's called a filbert brush. It's an artist brush. Got it at an arts and crafts store. This is by Lowell Cornell. And I really like this brush. The the you know the bristles are a little longer. And sometimes if I need to get up really close up under the lash line, those bristles will mold right up underneath there. I can do a lot of detail work with this. And when I'm working on clients, I use brushes more so on my clients than on myself at this stage of the application. Unless, of course, I have verified with the client that they don't mind me using my fingers. I much prefer to use my fingers because, um, like I said, the heat helps me to disperse the product evenly. But some people just don't want you touching their face like that. So if you're going to do this on clients, always be sure to ask. If you want to use your fingers in that manner, always be sure to ask before you do it. Once my concealer is applied, and let's see, I've only done one eye because my other eye was already done. And you can see that's been very well blended into my foundation, so it's pretty seamless. You can't see it, but it did even out the darkness under my eyes. Once that's done, you want to apply powder to set your foundation and your concealer. Now I'm using, um, this is a translucent powder by um, CoverGirl, their professional translucent powder in translucent medium. I don't have a powder brush right now, but I found, that, found this great mop brush at the art supply store by, um, where is the name? No, I really can't read the name on here. Master's Touch, that's what it is. It's a number 430 mop brush. Love this as a powder brush because it's got a huge, huge head. But what I've done, um, I've sifted a little powder from the main container into the top here. I take my brush and I'm going to swirl the top of the head of the brush in here, coating all of the bristles. See how much is there? That's too much to put on. Okay, coat your bristles. Tap off the excess. That's about as much as you need to start with. That should be enough to do my entire face. What I do, dot here, dot down the center, dot on the chin, smooth it up over the cheeks. Then I go back and buff in. Circular motion. Under the eye, of course, you sweep. But I buff it in. That little bit of powder enough to go over my entire face to set my foundation. I dust over my lips. I usually put a little foundation on my lips and a little powder to prime them for my lip color coming up. You can see that unfortunately, although I've had this brush for a little while, it's still shedding a little bit. Um, it may be just I got a bad brush. I don't know. But I love this brush, so I'll deal with the shedding. I will just pick off the fibers as they come out. Maybe eventually it'll stop if I, after I wash it a couple more times. But there you go. Application of powder and foundation. Now, I don't have a lot of spots on my face that I need to conceal. So basically, I just conceal under my eyes. But now, your everyone's situation is different. So if you need, if you have some dark spots, maybe on your jawline or on your cheeks or whatever, um, you would conceal those the same way. Get a little on your finger, pat to apply, and you don't want to pat so much in the middle after you've applied it. But pat around the edges and get those edges blended into your foundation. Let me pull this up really close so you can see because you will see that now you know there's not a lot of of difference between where I've got the foundation and the concealer okay that's how you know you got a real good match when your concealer blends into your foundation so there's not any obvious markings of where one stops and one starts okay I'll show you the other eye but see you don't see that darkness there Okay, that's all there is to applying foundation.
concealer and powder. Um, you may have to experiment a little bit, especially for us um, dark skinned gals. Like I said, um, this covers this uh, concealer by CoverGirl. I just happened to find that um, I usually have a hard time, at least drugstore level, finding concealers that are dark enough. Usually, the deepest they go, still too light for my skin. And when you put them on, you know, as I said, it does that highlight thing instead of, um, you know, concealing. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I've got to go get ready for work. But since I was going to do this anyway, I thought I'd show this to you and share it with you. Hope this was helpful to you, Dolly. I hope this was helpful to the rest of you. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Be blessed, and I'll be back in another video soon um, showing you basic eye applications. Bye-bye.